Apple has officially announced an event for 15th September, which you might think will be about iPhone 12. Well, it won't be. In today's video, I will tell you what the event is about. So without wasting any time, let me tell you. Hello ladies and lads, I'm your host Sufyan and welcome to Let Me Tech. In today's video, we will discuss three major things. Number one, September 15th Apple event. Number two, iOS 14 Beta 8 that was released to public beta testers and also developers on Wednesday. Lastly, we will give you an update on the battle between Apple and Epic Games. Before I start to talk about the Apple event, why don't you go ahead and subscribe as it helps us a lot. Thank you. Now let's do this. John Prosser had already told us that according to his sources, something is happening on September 8th. John Prosser said that there will be a press release on September 8th, which will be about Apple Watch Series 6 and also the new iPad Air. On the other side, Bloomberg reported that we will be seeing an event regarding iPhone 12 in September, which is expected to arrive in October as it is a bit late as confirmed by Tim Cook himself. Both John Prosser and Mark Gurman were not completely right, but they also were not wrong. A few hours before Apple officially announced the September event, something happened on Twitter. Many Twitter users started seeing a custom Apple logo in the Apple event hashtag. After some research, it was found that this will expire on September 28th. Therefore, an event in September was a must. As expected, after only a couple of hours, Apple officially announced the September 15th event. And naturally, everyone assumed that this will be the iPhone 12 keynote. Remember when John Prosser informed us about the press release of iPad Air and also Apple Watch Series 6 on September 8th? Well, he was not wrong. Like Mark Gurman reported, there is an event happening on September 15th, but it is not the iPhone 12 keynote. Rather, it is an event which is focused on Apple Watch Series 6 and iPad Air. The announcement for this event was made on the same date that John told us. Both Mark Gurman followed by John Prosser confirmed on Twitter that this event is indeed about Apple Watch Series 6 and the newly designed iPad Air. This was further confirmed from the metadata on YouTube event page created by Apple. This page contained keywords like Apple Watch, Series 6, iPad Air, fitness and wellness. All that being said, some leakers which are not 100% reliable are saying that this event is indeed about iPhone 12. According to these leakers, the time flies keyword refers to the time of flight or the LiDAR scanner camera coming in the iPhone 12 Pro series. Not only that, they further state that the blue logo being used by Apple represents the new blue color coming in the iPhone 12 series. We have a very special iPhone 12 video dropping soon on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed for that and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the notification. Another thing pointed out on Twitter was that it usually takes 5 to 10 minutes to announce Apple Watch and the iPad Air. Will Apple actually make a whole event for these two products? Will there be other hardware announced in this event as well, which is expected from Apple this year? This hardware includes products such as AirTags, AirPod Studio and AirPower. We will have to wait and see on September 15th. We will be live streaming this event, so do consider watching it with us. Apple Watch Series 6 will not be a huge update from the Series 5 and will only have updated processor and blood oxygen level sensor. That is pretty much it for the Apple Watch. Now the iPad Air is something that is more interesting. The iPad Air is humored to get a brand new design just like the iPad Pro with a bezel-less display. It is also humored to have USB-C, Touch ID integrated in the power button which will be the first time ever in an iPad. The iPad Air is also expected to support all the iPad Pro accessories which include Apple Pencil 2 and also the newly announced Magic Keyboard. Let us know in the comments below if you are excited about this iPad Air. Now for the Apple vs Epic lawsuit which is getting interesting. In the latest news, Apple filed a counterclaim and are seeking damages from the Fortnite maker. Apple wrote in the counterclaim, although Epic portrays itself as a modern corporate Robin Hood, in reality it is a multi-billion dollar enterprise that simply wants to pay nothing for the tremendous value it derives from the App Store. Apple also said that this threat from Epic endangers the secure ecosystem Apple has developed for its iOS user base. That is not all. Apple is not playing games with Epic. Epic will lose sign-in with Apple Access on September 11. One thing is for sure and that is the fact that Epic wants to resolve this issue as soon as possible 
and wants to get Fortnite back on the App Store soon. With Fortnite not being available on the App Store, Epic is taking heavy losses. If you want to know more about this, don't forget to check out our previous video which should be available in the cards above or also in the description below. I also request you to please follow us on our social media, links for which are also available in the description below. Now let's talk about the iOS 14 Beta 8 which got released to developers and also public beta testers on Wednesday. The size of this update was around 100 to 150 megabytes. If we look at the build number, it ends with the alphabet A. This means that it is almost the final public release version of iOS 14. The beta next week should be the golden master build for iOS 14. Overall, there are new noticeable changes. This is just a stability update with bug fixes and some minor tweaking here and there. These should result in smooth performance overall and better battery life. Do make sure you are subscribed to the channel for the coverage of GM build next week. Really excited because we are only a couple of weeks away from the iOS 14 official release. That is all for today. Hopefully you liked the video and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Stay safe. Until next time, over and out.